Daytona Beach, Florida is home to Hangster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, America's number one choice for premier collector cars for over 30 years. We have a 1965 Ford Mustang to present to you today. This one happens to be a very desirable combination of color and drivetrain. Um, it's a fastback, uh, so let's check it out. Uh, first of all, it's an A-code car, which means it was born life with a 289, which is what is in it today. Um, VIN number is here on the driver's side front fender. This vehicle is not equipped with power steering, power brakes, or air conditioning. <clears throat> so, uh, if you're interested in that, get a hold of Nate over at the garage, and he can give you prices on putting all that stuff in. 289. No power steering, no power brakes, no AC. It is a four-speed car. It is a fastback car, and it is red. And it is a very high-quality vehicle. Let's start out with your uh, hood, while I put the hood pins in here so the hood doesn't come flying up when we're on a test drive. Uh, you have uh, your white uh, vinyl there, striping. Uh, that is, like I said, vinyl is not painted on. Uh, and then as far as red's concerned, it's very nice up top, fenders, Hood, real nice uniform color and clear, no clear coat fades, spider webbing, cracking, blistering, anything else you can possibly think of to describe subpar paint. <clears throat> front bumper chrome, it's like mirror glass, you can see yourself in it, it's really nice up front. Uh, no chrome peel, no rust around the bumper bolts, nothing like that going on. It is not a true GT car, so it's a GT style car. Uh, so we'll have that on the website, so don't think it's a, a true GT car, and the price should tell you that it's not. Uh, front fender. Paint is real nice throughout the entire front fender. No uh, issues, high or low. The paint on this car is probably, I don't know, 8.5 out of 10, maybe an 8 out of 10, depending on how picky you are. Uh, the wheels, the rally wheels up front there have the uh, Ford Co or the Cobra emblem in the center, uh, five-bolt lug pattern. BFG raised white letters. <clears throat> Front windshield. Awesome, real nice chrome wiper arms. Uh, glass clarity up front, nearly flawless. Uh, chrome that encompasses front windshield, all installed properly. You got your uh, real expensive bullet uh, shaped uh, chrome mirror there on the driver's side door. All the window glass in the car in real nice shape. Vent window, door glass, uh, your uh, fastback windows in the back there on the uh, rear quarter, real nice condition. Let's check out the inside. Let's start with the back seat. We don't do that very often, right? There, oh, hold on. Seat belt's latched here, so I gotta hold the seat. Okay, so back seat, there isn't one. The back seat delete. So there is a spare back there. You don't need a back seat anyways, it's a muscle car. Nobody ever sits in the back. Got your uh, racing style seat belts, both driver and passenger side. Those pretty cool accent to a, a muscle car, especially a 65 Fastback and the whole Carroll Shelby thing. Uh, the driver's seat, real nice black vinyl. Got that expensive uh, wood grain wheel there. Your GT350 badged uh, center cap to your uh, steering wheel. Cobra floor mats. Carpeting in the car is fantastic, just like the rest of the car. Headliner. Let's get a shot. Both courtesy lights in the rear uh, panels there are illuminating when we open up the door on the driver's side. This is an awesome looking car inside and out. So, let's check out the paint on the rear quarter. Oh, driver's door. Yeah, so I... Got, I jumped to the back seat, so when I don't do things in order, I kind of forget. Uh, door panel, uh, so this is all paint here, black paint, that's real nice. And then of course your door panel there, vinyl insert, armrest, all real nice condition. Now we'll move to the rear quarter. Uh, so also, I forgot to mention the uh, white striping you see down low is vinyl. I'm sure you know that, but just in case you don't, it's not painted on there. Uh, the Rear quarter of the car here, up top, down low, around your wheel, all real fantastic. Uh, paint, body lines. 
the stance of that car is fantastic. That fast back, that red, that white stripe, it's just a great car. Uh, so the white stripe that started out on the hood continues on the roof and on your deck lid. So all your uh, vinyl in real nice shape, great clarity, no cracking, no peeling, uh, paint, nice uniform color and clear. Uh, rear glass there, you have faint scratching in the rear just as is typical of a car of this era. But uh, overall, hopefully you can see you know the camera there. It's pretty clear for, for what it is. <clears throat> Before I get into the trunk, we'll take a step back from the car and we'll check out a couple things. Uh, first of all, your chrome bumper in the rear, same as the front. Real nice chrome on the rear bumper. Uh, chrome clarity is there. Uh, no rust, no peel, no patina. Same thing with your uh, Mustang, <clears throat> the iconic Mustang uh, rear brake lights, tail lights, uh, those three uh, stacked uh, reflectors there inside that chrome bezel. The bezels are real nice. Uh, the uh, red portion's real nice. GT350 uh, gas cap there. Trunk, pretty simplistic. A trunk mat. Your spare's in the back like I showed you. Um, the uh, gas tank is covered with like a, a lot of people do that like that, uh, I don't know, like dynamat type material. Uh, the trunk portion that is metal is fantastic, painted the same color as the car. No rust issues, rot issues there to speak of. Okay, continuing. <clears throat> Passenger side. We are getting some cars with some great body lines. Either the, uh, the cars are all sheet metal or the body works fantastic because these body lines are exceptional. Uh, real, real nice lines on this car. Um, rear quarter here, uh, low, around the wheel opening, all the paint, the uh, metal, all real nice. By the way, the uh, chrome wheels are in great condition too. There's no rust or pitting on those. Uh, the rust is, or the, uh, the wheel's real nice, no rust on the uh, lug nuts. <clears throat> Back to our glass here momentarily before we enter into the passenger side of the vehicle. Uh, your quarter window glass there, real nice shape, door glass, vent window glass. No issues. Glass clarity around the entire car is very nice. Passenger side of the car, door panel mirrors the drivers. Uh, real nice paint, real nice vinyl, armrest. Uh, the her shifter there you see in the center, it is a four-speed car, so it's a three-pedal car. <clears throat> By the way, no, uh, no documentation history on this thing. Um, you know, when it was painted, when it was restored, when the motor was rebuilt. But, I mean, the entire car looks to be in exceptional condition. Uh, newer paint, newer interior, uh, newer wheels and tires. Just a real nice car. Now we'll pan low on the passenger door so you can see that there's no paint issues down low. Um, the stripes are real nice. Uh, no uh, cracking in your vinyl striping there. No peeling um, off the edges of the doors or the fenders, anything like that. Uh, once again, it is not a true GT350. Um, the uh, paint down low on the passenger side front fender, there's paint on the car is awesome. You would uh, definitely get a couple trophies for the trunk of this thing if you took it to the show. It's a, uh, this car's standing tall. 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback, red, four speed car, 289, A code, with a back seat delete. We're gonna pull it around the building, and we're gonna do an undercarriage presentation. And then after that, we'll do the test drive. Everything I do in this video presentation, you can do yourself when you visit our showroom here in Daytona Beach, which is what I encourage you to do when you're buying a car that's 50 years old. They're not new. They are gonna have cosmetic flaws. They're gonna have uh, drivability factors that you're not used to. Maybe the brakes feel a little soft to you, or the steering feels a little loose. I drive these things every day. I can't tell you how many of these things I drive a week. I'm used to it. I get in and I'm like, people get in and drive with me, oh, this brake pedal feels soft. It's like, no, it doesn't feel fine. Car stops. So they're definitely, you know, not up to what we're used to today. I mean, 
Today you put your foot on the brake and it's like stopping before your foot even reaches the pedal. It's got like a sensor on it that pushes the brake for you. But uh, I mean, these things are fun to own, they're fun to sell, they're fun to collect. Uh, generates a lot of conversations uh, when you're out and about. Uh, a lot of cool shows, you know, car clubs, Facebook groups you can join, all kinds of stuff. But uh, check out our showroom. We have a beautiful facility here in Daytona Beach. You can go check out Hankster's Garage while you're here if you like. You can talk about some accessories over there that you may want to have done to the car before it ships. We're in a tourist destination. There's a lot of awesome places to eat on the water here. Uh, Daytona International Speedway, of course, the world famous Daytona Beach. Uh, so check out our showroom. Check out the car you're interested in and uh, maybe shake our hand and we'll ship you a car. You can trailer it home or drive it home if you're, uh, if you're close enough. But, <clears throat> you know, we do a lot of sight unseen business. We've been in business for over 30 years doing business that way. Uh, you know, selling classic cars sight unseen. So think about our longevity in this business. We move a lot of units through not only our Daytona location, but also through our Homer City PA store. So we, it's not like we've been in business three or four years. We've been doing this a long time. So, uh, but you may not be as familiar with classic cars or muscle cars as we are. And that's why I encourage you to check it out in person. There's only so much we can disclose in a 20, 20, 20 to 25 minute video presentation, which in my opinion is too long. But <laughs> when we started doing these videos years back, you know, we do the walk around and then people want interior and then they want undercarriage and then they want a drive. And then, you know, it's kind of morphed into this started with me and my sales staff and our cell phones, emailing and texting videos to people, you know? So, uh, here we are Daytona beach, Florida, visit our showroom, check it out yourself. Let's pull it around the building. We'll throw it up in the air and do an undercarriage presentation for you before we drive it. We are underneath our fantastic 1965 Ford Mustang fastback. Uh, I mentioned earlier in the showroom presentation, it is a 289 motor, and guess what? It is a period correct 289. So, you know, people throw out the term numbers matching. Well, it can't be a numbers matching motor because they didn't do partial VIN stamps in 1965 on Ford 289s. However, it is the correct year motor for the car, and the car was born in 289. So, you can assume that it's the correct motor for the car, but I don't know that with 100% certainty. You have disc brakes up front. Oh, and don't forget your extra deep high po uh, Cobra oil pan. Um, this car is also a gear drive in the motor. So when you hear the engine run presentation, when you hear me drive it, if you hear our that's because it's a, it's a gear drive. Uh, headers, dual. Uh, how about the floor pans on this friggin' thing, right? Fantastic. Uh, really nice pans on the car. Um, Exhaust system, it's gonna be dual turn downs right before the rear end. Uh, tranny, the support uh, cross member here that supports the tranny up's in great shape. All your lines are in real good condition. E-brakes hooked up, works. Uh, just an outstanding vehicle. If you're looking for a 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback, this is probably your car. Uh, the exhaust looks newer. I mean, you can tell by the pipes and the headers, it, you know, Definitely not showing any kind of age whatsoever. How about your tire condition? Let's take a look at that. Uh, your tread depth on the tires, real good there. Uh, no uh, dry rotting or cracking between the tires. I was looking to see if I could possibly pull a date code off here real quick, but I don't see one. Um, but no dry rotting and plenty of tread on those. Uh, your gas tank that you saw earlier in the showroom portion, uh, Looks real, real nice. Again, newer. Uh, check up here where your uh, shocks are mounted, like where your back seat's gonna meet your uh, trunk pan compartment area there. You can see the frame rails exposed. You can see the, uh, you know, uh, rear portion of your uh, fastback uh, under, underneath. Just real exceptional quality on this, uh, on this car. We're gonna take it out and drive it. Before we do that, let's discuss how to pay for this thing. If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank or bank wire transfer. If you're financing, the collector car lenders we work with will do five to 15 year loans on these cars. 10% down to the purchase price is gonna be your minimum required down payment. You could do more if you'd like to, but they're gonna require at least 10%. Even if your credit score is 9,000, if it's a $50,000 car, they're gonna require five grand down. Um, maybe even a little more if you have a higher debt to income ratio, you can't prove all your income, or your uh, credit's a little on the shaky side. 
Once the vehicle is funded in full, we put the car through a pre-delivery inspection process. I stated earlier, they're old cars. Anything can start leaking, stop working, malfunction at any given moment. If I had a crystal ball to know when it was going to happen, I would certainly use it, but I don't. Uh, so we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading in your direction. Torque the lug nuts, check tire pressure, check the wipers, brake lights, reverse lights, things like that. Once the guys tell me it's green lighted and we can uh, get it picked up, we put the car through detail and then the carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. Typically we can have a driver here within a 48 hour window. However, if you're in a more difficult destination, please allow us four, five, six business days. But I promise you, we know you're excited to get your ride. We're uh, very glad that we earned your business as a customer and we will get you your vehicle just as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. We do this a couple times a month. We have our process streamlined uh, so that the whole thing happens a lot sooner than you might think it does. If you're fast with your financing, we can usually be funded the same day or the following business morning, providing you can get your DocuSign done and you can get your insurance information to the lender. I think that covers it. If you are um, picking it up yourself, driving it home, enclosed carrier, sending your own carrier, we'll let you know when it's ready. You can come get it. Let's drive it. 65 Ford Mustang Fastback. Horn. Fuel gauge is working. 95,283 is the miles on the odometer, true miles unknown. Uh, no radio, so you don't have to worry about that. So here's the fun part of my business, okay? See that tack? Doesn't work, right? But when you turn the wipers on, your tack comes on. So if you want to use your tack, you have to have the wipers on. Somebody grabbed power someplace they shouldn't have, so we'll fix that. But that's the kind of stuff you deal with on a daily basis. People don't know what they're doing, wearing things up. All right, where are we gonna go from here? Four speed, carpet's great, headliner's great, car's great, day's great, let's drive it. Pretty awesome muscle car. Speedo, got a little bit of a bounce, but not bad. It's accurate, it's reading like it should. Our temp's good, about halfway up. Uh, fuel gauge works, I think I said that already. Car tracks awesome. No shifter movement. This car's strong too, we're gonna show you that when we uh, take the corner here. This car is everything you'd want in a muscle car. Look at that. There's no front end vibration in this car whatsoever. No drivetrain vibration. 289 is strong. Probably one of the strongest 289 cars I've driven. Brakes. Just like they should. See how my my car is not getting jerked to the left or to the right because the brakes are stopping evenly on both the driver and the passenger side, not pulling the car in one direction or the other. And there's no vibrations or, you know, the, 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 a flutter when, you, when I'm stopping. Car idles nicely. Try to let traffic get ahead of us a little bit. Oh, I got green. All right, here we go. Ready? Shut it down there because I'm catching up to traffic. This is a muscle car. This is a fun car. It has the color, it's a fastback, it's a four speed, it's an A code, it has your performance. Awesome, awesome, awesome piece of inventory. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hankstruz.com is our website. That's where you can find all the photos of this car along with this video you're watching right this very moment. At full retail price, our 65 Mustang includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. 
It also includes a powertrain warranty. The warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. It covers internal components of the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. This does not cover brakes, batteries, starters, alternators, oil pan gasket leaks, tranny pan gasket leaks, all that stuff is stuff that you're going to be responsible for. It does, however, cover your major mechanical breakdowns. Is the price of the car negotiable? Most certainly it is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. Warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, shipping comes off. Time is money. It takes time to ship cars. You have to vest the carrier. You have to arrange the pickup. You have to arrange the delivery. You have to pay the driver. At a negotiated cost, you will handle those items on your own. Maybe you have your own method of transportation, open or enclosed carrier, and you want to trailer this Mustang home, you certainly do that. And if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, it'd be a pretty fun drive home. Hankster's Hot Rods would love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. We do export these classics as well, if that's something you're interested in. Switzerland, Sweden, France, Australia, we can do pretty much anywhere. Hankster's Hot Rods, hanksters.com, check us out.